Hey everybody, welcome back again to my SimCity 4 Let's Play. This is X-Ray, and we are back once again to the lovely region of New York. You're going to notice there's a few changes. Once again, I did some stuff off-screen to expedite the process of getting our town going. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about some of my grand master plans that I have for the entire region as a whole, not just for educated peoplesville here. And, uh, you know, just to give a little bit of a, an end in sight for the Let's Play, like I said in the previous video, I don't want it to run on forever and ever and ever. I do have a couple of uh, plans in my head for places where we could end it. For now, though, um, you'll notice we added some more residential stuff. <clears throat> Again, with weird, quirky, winding streets. I don't know. I think it looks good. Oh, my goodness. You know, I don't know what the rest of you do, but... Uh, whatever. And then we added a little more there. That's really actually all we did. Just a little bit of that. Real quick though, before we actually do anything in this town itself, let's look at this other little town that I created down here off screen called Endless Suburbia. As the name implies, as you would expect, it is a suburb. Um, it's a very quiet suburb. It's educated. I'll do a little bit of a pan through here so you guys can check it out. We got some high-tech industry here, which immediately tells you the education level here is quite a lot higher than it is in our even in our other city. That's because we have this college here that's definitely educating our, our uh, sims here. This is a little bit of an idea of how I like to design my suburbs. You know, lots of single housings, lots of trees, making everything look real pretty. We got this little central area here, you know, central urban area with a third medical clinic which is you know, almost about to be underfunded as they always are pretty nice i like it it's clean for the most part we got you know wind turbines generating power we got our central business strip here running down the avenue nothing nothing super crazy going on and we got a small industrial sector here, all with manufacturing. Now, the interesting thing is, is I designed the city so that uh, we didn't actually need any dirty industrial to get this going. Just commercial and manufacturing, because we plopped down the education buildings immediately. I think I'll, I'll, I'll do that on a later video. I'll make another one of these sort of suburb towns, and I'll show you how, you how you can do that if you're interested. This is just a little farming town, a little town outside of the outskirts of the other one up there. Same sort of thing going on. I think it looks really nice to kind of have like these little urban areas like this with a little bit of commerce and, and just farms all around. It looks really nice. I really like designing urban towns like this. Uh, suburban towns, sorry. So that's really all that's going on here. Now, how does this affect the region as a whole? And there's a reason that I built that suburb there. It's because this map here, the one that's sort of central to all of our cities, is, is the end going to be the end goal really for this Let's Play. <clears throat> it's going to be our central business district. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to build almost nothing but commercial in this in this particular plot. And demand for that commercial is going to be fed into this uh, the city from the surrounding suburbs and cities that I create around it. And that's really the basic idea. We'll, we'll, there will be some residential in here. But it's going to be a very dense commercial district in the end. And we, in order to generate demand for that commercial, we need educated sims. Which is why we're building these little suburbs on sort of the outside. So let's go ahead and get things rolling in Educated Peoplesville. Alright, getting some development. Very good, okay. Oh, one thing that I wanted to do in this video... <clears throat> We're going to notice if we go to our handy dandy graphs, we take a look at, uh, where is it, um, garbage. Oh, look at garbage is getting, uh, it's getting a little high. You know, the town is getting bigger, they're developing a lot of garbage. It's kind of funny. I don't know if we can find any, but if you let garbage pile up in your town without taking care of it, you literally just start seeing like these little random piles of trash in the city. People literally just like, fuck it! and then they just throw the trash wherever they feel like it. I don't see any, though. I'm not sure what these guys are going on about. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this road. They seem quite insistent on it, so let's just get rid of them and lay them back down again. Let's see if that help, uh, helps. Um, 
the heck's wrong with you guys? There's nothing wrong with this intersection. Okay, let's just replace the intersection again. Here. Yeah, okay. I swear to God, YouTube, if these guys are going to make a fool out of me, I'm not going to be happy about it. And you know what that means. You probably don't, actually, do you? I don't even know what that means. Okay, um... That's really bizarre. Let's just remove this and we'll ignore this part of the town and forget we ever saw that. And just move on. <laughs> so, education. As I said, we need more education. That means we need to go to the education tab. Here, can you hear my mouse clicks? I notice they come out quite loud in the videos. I can't really get rid of them without degrading the overall quality of my audio. And I'm talking in a run-on sentence and we need to find the city college. Here we go. Cool thing about city college. Actually, let me catch my breath for a second there. That was actually harsh. I don't have the strongest lungs in the world. Whew. Okay, and uh, anyway. So, oh, so anyways, City College. You can put this anywhere in the town. It doesn't matter where. It ha doesn't have like a radius. It just serves the entire city. So we can really put it anywhere. We're going to put it sort of in this central area where all of our other buildings are because it looks nice, I guess. There you go college right next to the elementary school so all the elementary school kids can sort of aspire towards going to college because they're going to see all the cool uh, older kids working at the college uh, sorry going to school at the college and they'll aspire to that I guess I don't know I just made that up right now I don't really think that's how it works in real life but hey this isn't real life this is a video game so that's okay I'm okay with this real quick I want to check my education here so we have high schools here these guys really aren't getting anything but that's okay so okay well, education is going to be coming along pretty good in this town we can lower the funding on this significantly by the way this is why the city college is actually a really good investment because the, the total funding for the college because we don't have to pay for buses it's actually really cheap i mean look at this it's 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 like almost five times the, the total capacity that we need, and it's only costing us 90. So you could really, you can really drop those down really early on, and it wouldn't affect you. Now what we need <clears throat> basically is more population. I, I'd like to get a couple of dense buildings in this particular city, not too many. I'm going to put them in this corner over here. But let's get some more suburbs. Yeah, I'll show you kind of how I designed some of the suburbs in, in that other city. I just sort of have like a, 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 a road like this that's sort of like the essential central road. And then all you really do is just place random stuff, really. Just place streets in random directions, going random places. Some of them connecting to the other ends of the road, some of them ending in dead ends like that one's going to. These little cul-de-sacs, by the way, Actually, I think they're technically roundabouts, but they kind of look like cul-de-sacs. This is only in the network add-on mod, as I mentioned before. Another thing that's only in the network add-on mod that you might have noticed in, in the other city is this. Sideways streets. Aren't they cool? I really like these sideways, uh, sideways streets. They look really nice. Really, really nice. I like them. Did I mention that I like them? We'll do it a little bit more. You know, just be creative. Just build random stuff. It's, you know, it's... The game's not going to punish you for having suboptimal designs, really. I mean, you can punish yourself over it if you want. If you're really self-loathing, I guess. <laughs> I know that they're... I, I'm not trying to make fun of people that are kind of OCD about that stuff. I understand. Like, I'm a gamer, right? Gamers are kind of OCD in general. At least that's what a lot of people say. I don't know that that's necessarily true, but in any case, there certainly are a lot of OCD gamers out there. I think gaming in general just kind of, I don't know, it encourages that style of behavior, I guess, um, because you're rewarded for having that sort of behavior in video games. Same is true in SimCity. If you're really OCD about how you design your cities, you'll get a lot of efficiency out of them. And you're rewarded by having, you know, bigger, better... Uh, more profitable cities. Um, and like I said in a previous video, I, I could be more efficient, I could be using grids and stuff, but I just, I don't want to, because I don't care that much. 
It's not that I don't want to be efficient so much as it's just not important in SimCity. You can design just about anything you want and it will still work, more or less. It's really a, That's kind of a theme, actually, I find with Maxis games in general. You can just do really anything and it just works. Because they don't, they're, you know, they're obviously they're appealing more to a casual crowd. But not just that, I think they, uh, they, that's just the style of games they make. They like to encourage you to just be creative, do whatever you want. That's, that's cool, I like that. Let's make one more here. And you'll probably notice that the, the sort of theme that I'm always going for here is I put these little small suburban single space low density houses like along the streets and then along roads and certainly along uh, avenues I put medium density like here for example it can support the, the traffic on this road can easily be uh, support this medium density housing although with the network add-on mod these these streets actually have a pretty decent capacity I think in the vanilla version of the game they have a capacity of like 100 which is just like what? That's abysmal. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's awful. Uh, but it, with the network add-on mod, it's it's raised significantly higher, so you don't have to be so concerned about. Uh, you don't have to be so concerned about just being completely inundated by traffic, slowing down to a grinding halt. By the way, I really love the music in this game. I, uh, I recently turned the sound effects and the music up a little higher in the game, so hopefully you guys can can hear that. Um, if it's too loud, you know, leave a comment and let me know. I'm, I'm still playing around with the settings a little bit. It doesn't seem too loud when I was listening to the recording, but and that's just my opinion. Obviously, it's just, you know, other people out there might not think the same way I do about it. All right. Here's another nice little thing I like to do sometimes when I'm building these little suburban areas is have like a, a little circular area like this sort of in the center and put things in it you know like parks and things so for example I, I really like the large park because it has a, a lake and then we'll what do we have left we have some by spaces there. Let's put a tennis court. Why not? Basketball court on the opposite side. And we're just gonna grab our small park paintbrush here. We're just gonna we're gonna put a little smart small park here. And uh, we'll just have that be a little secret between you and me, you two. This little park here. And if you tell anybody that I put this park here. I will find you and I will cut you. Ten points to anyone who actually knows that reference. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really stupid reference. And uh, obviously the actual reference was... Or the actual uh, skit itself was much funnier. <laughs> that pathetic feeble attempt on my part to replicate it. I'm not sure why these streets haven't already been filled with uh, stuff, but we will rectify that problem. Oh yeah, I did that there too. See? Consistency. Mm, has it. Not really, actually. My videos have been really inconsistent, let's be honest. Jesus, I mean, the, the, the city we built in the first video that I made is not the city that, uh, that we ended up with later, because it failed miserably. Real quick, let's go ahead and throw down a local branch library, because this is a local area and it needs a local branch. The library. There we go. Sweet. We're going to continue again in the next video, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. And and uh, I think off screen I'll increase the population here a bit so we can move on to the next phase of our grand plan. And I hope you'll join me then so that we can see what that grand plan is going to look like. Thanks again. Leave, uh, leave some comments and things, and uh, we'll see you there.